Good evening. Please join in song with I Am A Light In The World. And as we join together in song, and I know you are all singing from your homes, set an intention for yourself and one for someone you love. I am a light in the world. I am a light in the world. I am a light in the world. to our virtual today service. We are delighted that you are here. I imagine we have many newcomers who are a little surprised at what is this service. And we provided a little link so you can read up on today. And uh, I did a little video so that you can uh, check out what we're all about here at today. But this service is about meditating. It is about communal singing. And uh, it's about some, we offer some readings just to kind of center ourselves and keep us on track. So <clears throat> it's very interesting because this service is really meant to be a community. And it is community. And it's supposed to be communal singing. And it is. It's just communal virtual singing. So I trust you all are singing. I invite you to harmonize. I invite you to just listen if that's really what you're called to do. And I invite you to sing in your shower voice because... No one else can hear you but you or your neighbors. So um, 
<clears throat> you'll, you'll notice that the lyrics for each song will come up on the side, and we'll sing them many times. So if you're unfamiliar with the song, you will get familiar with the song. Um, and at this service, um, traditionally what we do is end with a phenomenal potluck. So I did invite all of you uh, before on that little video to make sure you have a little something so that we can have a virtual potluck Zoom at the end. So I encourage you to do that. I encourage you, perhaps if you have a candle, light a candle and just set an intention. Definitely turn off your phone, stop texting. I know some of you are, it's hard not to. And just let this be time for you. So when we meditate, we simply do um, Vipassana meditation here. So we just simply focus on the breath. And the whole point is to get quiet and notice. And you'll notice as you're quiet, especially at home, the distractions that come, the thoughts that come, the things you think you need to do, but you don't because this is your time. This is your time to be quiet for you and to just connect energetically with everyone who is experiencing this service together. And I know there's a lot of us out there. So one of the other things that we do, everyone who comes through the door gets a little card. And it's just a little gift to give you something to settle down and take home, put it on your refrigerator. And so um, I asked Reverend Mark to pick a card for us and um, for all of us. So this is, this is for every single one of us. And this is what it says. It says, it is safe to look within. And then on the back, it says, as I move through the layers of other people's opinions and beliefs, hmm, I see within myself a magnificent being, wise and beautiful. I love what I see in me. So, and also having said that, we do have a all-star cast here tonight. Dr. Mark is making a special guest appearance. Reverend Mark is here. And so I am delighted to invite Reverend Mark to give us our invocation and start off our beautiful sacred Tuesday service. Good evening, everyone. Thank you for joining us. So let's take this moment to turn our attention inward. And to become aware of that part of us that every moment seeks to feel joy, to be at peace, to just experience goodness in every way possible. And let us join in recognizing that impulse as an impulse that's felt throughout the universe because that is the impulse of the one life, the one power, the one presence that is God, that is goodness in every way. It can be known, felt, and realized. And it is this one infinite lovingness that impels itself into creation. It is the very core essence of my being as it is the essence of each and every person gathered together for this virtual service. I know that as we come together as emanations of the divine, that we are answering a call of the divine to know its nature in us at a deeper level. And so I know every part of this service supports that intention. I know that we are absolutely uplifted by the practitioners who are holding vigil for us during this service. I know that we feel the love of spirit through everyone that is being of service to allow this time together to unfold. I know we are touched by the music, that we are uplifted by our music from Sam and Joanne. And I know that Joanne is that perfect vessel through which we are guided through this time together to the core of our being, to know spirit at a deeper level and to experience it more fully in our lives. And so how grateful I am for all those who are part of this service, how grateful I am 
for the healing and revealing that occurs during our time together. And in gratitude, I release this word, knowing it is so, I let it be, and so it is. Together we say, Amen. And so I invite you to join me in saying the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. And so I invite you now to join me in a few moments of meditation. Again, turning our awareness inward, bringing it to the breath. Notice the in-breath and the out-breath. You don't need to try to control it. Just observe it, this miracle of life that's unfolding with each breath. And you might say silently to yourself, I'm breathing in and I'm breathing out. And as the mind wanders, just notice, be very compassionate with yourself. Just notice where it went, thinking, noticing, feeling. And then gently bring your awareness back to the breath. Breathing in, breathing out.
love that sets me free. There is only love. So our first reading this evening is from Find and Use Your Inner Power by Emmett Fox. <clears throat> Cause and effect. Whatever you experience in your life is really but the outpicturing of your own thoughts and beliefs. Now, you can change these thoughts and beliefs, and then the outer picture must change too. The outer picture cannot change until you change your thought. Your real heartfelt conviction is what you outpicture or demonstrate, not your mere pious opinions or formal assents. Convictions cannot be adopted arbitrarily just because you want a healing. They are built up by the thoughts you think and the feelings you entertain day after day as you go through life. So it is your habitual mental conduct that weaves the pattern of your destiny for you and is not this just as it should be. So no one else can keep you out of your kingdom or put you into it either. The story of your life is really the story of the relations between yourself and God. So I invite us all now to turn within once again, just contemplating and experiencing our relationship with God.
in this moment, in the quiet, I Our second reading is also from Emmett Fox. It's called, Don't Try, Let. People often say, I try to do this, or I try to do that, but I fail, or I tried so hard and nothing came of it. And they would become discouraged and dispirited. They wonder why things will not come right. And yet the explanation is contained within the words themselves. You should never try. You should let, let God. When you try to do things, you are working from the outside. When you let God do them through you, you are working from the inside and success must come. If you will reread the creation chapter in the Bible, the first of Genesis, you will notice that God creates by letting. God said, let there be light. And God said, let at every act of creation, and it was done. Now God creates by means of you, if you will let God, but you must let. Remember that in all mental working, effort defeats itself. The scientific way of working is to let. Let God manifest through you the wonderful ideas that God gives to you from time to time. Open your dictionary not really, just in your imagination, and scratch out the word try and write the word let against it in the margin. Someone said, let go and let God. And this is a wonderful recipe for overcoming fear and getting out of a tight place. In any case, the rule of creation is always let. Let go and let God. Turn your attention inward with me now for just a few moments as we let go.
So I invite you all to stay in a place of meditation, perhaps with your eyes closed, for this musical prayer. Think of all hearts beating in the world at the same Join to build a world that loves 
and understands. It helps to think of all the hearts beating in the world. Hope for all the hearts beating in the world. There's a healing music in our hearts beating in the world at the same So I just invite us to take a short moment of silent reflection.
So this is the time in our service for our affirmative giving. And uh, you should be seeing a link showing up that will take you to our donate button. Uh, if that's not happening for any reason, the uh, link that you want to go to is nhcrs.org forward slash give, and you will see the button there to donate. Uh, also, we will be here for 30 minutes after service till, till about 8.20. If you prefer to call in and give your donation over the phone using a credit card or a debit card, and of course, you can always mail in your checks. But thank you so much for supporting us in this way, and uh, let's join together in saying our affirmative giving statement. From the love of pure spirit within me, I bless this gift. I send it forth to heal and bless and prosper. It is evidence of my faith and belief. It does good work in the world and returns to me multiplied abundantly. Thank you. So we have a few announcements before Joanne brings this beautiful service. Thank you so much for the service to a close. Um, next Wednesday, uh, again, we'll have meditation at 6.50 p.m. Service starts at 7. And my topic will be Beyond Coping. Hope you can join us by either Facebook Live or Zoom for that. We invite you to please stay informed about everything that's going on here, uh, all the new ways we are connecting with you through Zoom and Facebook Live. Um, you can find that on the website. And if you sign up through the website for our weekly e-blasts and monthly newsletters, you'll uh, be kept abreast of any new events coming up. One great one that's coming up, Dr. Mark will be uh, teaching a five-week class on the four agreements that will be on Zoom. It begins this coming Monday, May 11th at 7 p.m. We'll explore the parallels uh, between the book, The Four Agreements by Don Miguel Ruiz and the Science of Mind philosophy taught by Ernest Holmes. The cost is $100, and we invite you to please register early, no later than 2 p.m., on Monday the 11th, so we can send you the Zoom link before the class. And we're asking that uh, those who are interested, those who sign up, to please read the first chapter of the book prior to the first class. Uh, grief support will be offering that twice a month. So this is facilitated by our practitioner, Carol Winokur, and they will be meeting on the second and the fourth Sunday of the month, so they will be meeting this Sunday and um, during this stay-at-home time via Zoom. So please uh, go to our website and you'll find the link for that, nhcrs.org. That's at 1 p.m. on Sunday. Our youth, uh, ages 5 to 11, meet via Zoom on Saturdays at 10.30 a.m. Teens, uh, ages 12 through 19, meet via Zoom every Sunday at 9.45 and Wednesday evenings at 7.30. We also have a daily meditation via Zoom now at 8 a.m. every morning. Um, and we will be offering prayer with a practitioner after this service. If you would like to have prayer with a practitioner, just stay on Zoom or if you're on Facebook Live right now, uh, go to the link on Zoom and we will connect you up with a practitioner you can also send in prayer requests uh, to prayer at nhcrs.org. And you can call in to the church number 818-762-7566. Option four allows you to leave a prayer request by voicemail. And we'll make sure all those prayer requests get sent out to practitioners. We check both the email and the uh, voicemail every day. So. Um, We'll be sure to check those and get those out. And if you just want to listen to a prayer, be uplifted, call in again to the church number. And option three allows you to listen to a pre-recorded reading and a prayer from a practitioner. And again, just a reminder that we will be here until uh, about 8.20 p.m. at the church office to accept your donations over the phone. Again, thank you, thank you, thank you. 
for continuing to support us so we can continue to support you. I just want to also say thank you to so many of us who make this service happen. This is a lot of, a lot of um, technical expertise that certainly is not in my area of expertise. I can certainly say that. So I hope I get everyone. Adam, who is on our sound and lights and mixing things and trying to make it great for all of you at home, thank you so very much. Alex and Blair Thompson, what a team <laughs> on, on um, getting us up and running on Facebook and, and Zoom and videotaping us. And then we have Zoom happening with Dean in Encino. And we have Facebook being hosted by Melissa Allen in Las Vegas. Um, I'm not sure who's on vigil tonight. Do you know who's on vigil tonight? I'm sorry, I don't. I don't remember who's on vigil. So I know you're out there. And thank you so much. And I apologize for not knowing. But I did want to acknowledge we do have a wonderful practitioner holding vigil for all of, all of us as well. Um, Dean, oh, that's right. Oh, Dean. Dean is zooming and vigiling at the same time. He is the multitasker. He's shape shifting. So thank you, Dean, so much. Mm -hmm. um, and Sam, thank you for adjusting with us and adding all that extra beautiful music. Um, we're so, so, so grateful uh, to you for that. Um, Doreen, thank you for holding space here as well and being in the office. I know she is here as well. And I just want to thank the, you know, the all-star team. We're so grateful to have it today. We never have Reverend Mark <laughs> and Dr. Mark to, uh, to be with us. So I'm so grateful that you're both here. And thank you all for tuning in. Uh, we're so grateful for your energy, for your vibration. And uh, I'm so, so honored to uh, lead you in this service. And without further ado, Dr. Mark, would you please give us a benediction? Gladly. All right, so let's turn within for a moment, just remembering that right where we are, we are surrounded and filled with God's infinite loving spirit, that that presence of God within us is the most true, most real thing about each and every one of us. We are emanations of the most high God. And I know we are all connected in the infinite mind, on the unseen side of life. And so I speak this word of thanksgiving for all that's taken place tonight, for beautiful music and uplifting our consciousness in so many ways. I know that as this service comes to a close, that each and every one of us, we move forward in our life divinely guided, guarded, and protected, that we are filled with divine wisdom and infinite intelligence, that we make great choices. I know we find that all of our needs are divinely met and that we are blessed at every moment of the day. I know that our church family is a blessing, and we are blessed to be together with them virtually right now. Because the truth is, we are always one in the mind and heart of God. So for this and every blessing, I say thank you, God, and I release this word knowing it's done. And so it is. Together we all say, Amen. Amen. Let's join together in song with I Send My Love and then stick with us for our virtual pie on the patio. <laughs> <laughs> I send my love over the mountains. I send my love over the sea. I send my love into the heavens, and it returns to me. I send my joy over the mountains. I send my joy over the sea. I send my joy into the heavens, and it returns to me. I send my peace. I send my peace over the sea. I send my peace into the heavens, and it returns to me. I send my faith over the mountains. I send my faith over the sea. I send my faith into the heavens, and it returns. One more love, I send my love over the mountains. 
I send my love over the sea. I send my love into the heavens, and it returns to me. See you on the patio.